What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the latest recap from the last war in Invicta. As you can see, uh, we it got a defeat against this Mark Lore clan level eight. Apparently, from what <clears throat> from what I heard, is they were the uh, they're one of the top French, at least one of the top French clans in the world for sure. Uh, we just randomly matched up with them. Uh, so it was kind of kind of an interesting war. We got a really really good battle out of it. Obviously, we didn't things didn't go our way, but we learned a lot. And uh, yeah, so I am actually here with uh, Invicta's War General uh, DWS. What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on, bro? Thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. I love doing these kind of combined recaps, especially of a interesting war like this one. Um, yeah, so it was super fun. Really, it was. Uh, <sighs> It was a fun war. Uh, it was a tough war, but a fun one. And and we need more of these as Invicta to to grow and get better. So why'd you run us through what like what was the game plan going into this uh, coming from the War General's eyes, I guess to say. Yeah, yeah. So uh, as, as soon as we got matched, I knew right off the bat this was it was going to be a busy twenty four hour prep day. Uh, and like you were talking earlier, uh, we knew this was one of the, if not the one of the best uh, French war clans uh, that that's out there right now. So uh, we knew that we had our work cut out for us. In uh, right off the bat, we were looking at some of the bases, uh, and they had a lot of anti three star uh, town hall tens. So mm -hmm. to us, you know, um, we get all googly eyed, and we're like, okay, hey, let's bring some nines up, and we can get some nines to two star these these anti three tens. Yep. Uh, so right off the bat, we wanted to reserve, you know, about four or five town hall nines, some strong attackers that we could bring up and uh, clear out some of those town hall tens. Uh, on top of that, we were going to use those extra four or five town hall tens attack, you know, come down and clean up some of their town hall, their top town hall nine, you know, keep us in the war a little bit if you we were struggling down in the nine section. And, uh, I mean, it's the, the plan, you know, the, the plan in a, in a typical war, uh, I think it would have been a little better result, but I mean, these guys, <laughs> these guys were very good. They had some uh, really nice bases. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I had, did. I had one of my toughest, my, one of my worst wars myself. It was, uh, it wasn't easy down, down all the way down. I think they had max heroes up to level to their number 25 or at least somewhere in their twenties. They still had max heroes, yeah. just max town hall nine. So <laughs> this was a true test. Absolutely. So I'm, yes, uh, this one, this one definitely, uh, backed us up into a corner and, and definitely made <laughs> us fight our well, way out. We weren't ready for it necessarily either, which is no excuse, but you know, you get these random matchups like this, and it's tough when you get thrown right into it. And, uh, you know, we had a good plan, like you had just talked about going in. Uh, we fell a little short because our t lower town hall nines really struggled getting some, getting the cleanups done. And, you know, it, it was a hard war. Uh, no, no, no one's bl blaming anyone, but yeah, it was, it was a tough one. I mean, we, st we, we only lost by eight. Yeah. So, oh. Apparently yeah, if, if I'm actually if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think we only missed like four town hall nine. Uh, I mean, they, they did good, but there's just that there's a very small, <clears throat> not almost a, yeah. a, a, a just a completely negligent One, room for air. Two, three, four. Well, the biggest thing was that's right. We, so we missed four. Just went through the map here, and. Uh, if but if you look at it, a lot of town hall ten attacks had to be used to clean up where they could right. have been three star shots at these uh, the you know their top eight and getting uh, stealing a couple three stars in their in their top eight would have would have maybe really turned the tides but you know it yeah. is what it is and we gave it our all so uh, the story of the war was the fact that we sent up four town hall nines to attack tens uh, that all three of them came away with two stars. Uh, not to mention our number yeah. 20 hitting number one. Uh, so let's just go on to that one right now. Uh, replay on Ryan. So was talking to Crunch about kind of what the game plan is at the Town Hall 10 level. And, and it's, especially when you're going for two stars, it, it, you have two objectives, right? So yeah. you treat the attack in two separate, you know, hemispheres in a sense, because 
the one thing you're just trying to get the town hall right so what do you need to get to the the town hall that's what you got to ask yourself and then the next question you got to ask yourself and then what else do you need to get 50 percent and you get right right so you'll see his minions are dropped all around and that's precision placement he is measured oh yeah out a lot of the defenses any close defenses and he places those ex- in the exact spots that's not just spamming minions down so the earthquake goes down he's getting percentage points on the outside for pretty much free with one golem and a few wizards there's a couple more golems at the uh you know 10 o'clock spot just getting percentage he basically gets almost every building around the base and yep. uh multiple ones on the inside so he's looking at 30 percent going in shattered hasn't dropped his heroes yet and he drops another two golems on the other side of the town hall so now he's got some two-pronged action more wizards are going down and here come his heroes already at 40 percent 42 percent with that whiz tower going whiz tower going down and he's basically there he's just got to take the town hall down yep yep so ryan killed at number 20 he did a phenomenal job counting out each one. Each one of those troops were were specifically designed for that base and how he was going to attack it to be able to get those couple extra percentage points. Absolutely, uh, it was just key. Very well planned. And he got like look at that. You know, almost sixty fifty eight percent. I'll end out here. Yeah, phenomenal really job. Awesome job, Brian. That's number twenty hitting a max th ten. Great, great work, buddy. <clears throat> All right, so let's check out some of uh, some of the nines because obviously in a war like this, you're gonna see some heroes step to the plate, and we're gonna stop uh, start, I should say, uh, with their uh, top town hall nine, uh, and one of our top town hall nines hitting at number ten, South Fence. He's just been a beast for us lately. So let's go in and check this DWS. Gotcha. So he comes in from the three o'clock. I'm pretty sure here. Yep. Oh. Yep. Uh, stone entry, but he just uh, he's holding on to one of the golems for now. Um, creating his funnel. One test wall breaker goes in, sends in the rest when the path is clear. Wall opens up and the third golem goes down. Heroes follow behind it. So at this point, the entry is looking fantastic because he's just got to jump, drop a jump over that core once the CC is taken out. There's the jump. Queen's going to start working on that CC. There's not even a building in her range right now. So I think she locks onto this dragon. And yeah, she's doing work to that CC. Golems are just kind of hanging out in the middle there. This defensive queen has not gone down yet, and the king goes for a walk. So that's a scary moment, but he does still have his archer queen there. So... I'm pretty sure that's what happens in this attack. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure the Archer Queen locks onto the defensive Archer Queen rates. Yeah, she's going to wind up taking her there down. There we go. Yeah, she's locked on now. Yep. She still has her rage up too if she needs it, but doesn't even need it. I think she uses it very soon. She's locked onto a Tesla, but the Hogs are now in from the 10 o'clock position. He's eliminated already one set of double giant bombs, and there's another one in between that expo and the air defense, kind of at the almost the 12 o'clock in the core, and boom, two hogs go in with the king, and they trigger it all on their own, so perfect. He's still got heals, and just the air defense, that's it. It's clean up from here. He still has that swag rage to drop, too. And he didn't even he didn't use didn't his even rage. It. Sexy, I totally forgot about the swag rage. South fence, killing it for us, man. Keep it up. Swag rage that right in the middle. You know what's coming. Boom. There it is. Right on, man. Great attack. So moving down. Uh, Logic beats. <clears throat> also been very good attacker for us. Going in on number eleven. So let's check this one out. <clears throat> Very similar base and very similar attack, actually. I, I also I want to take a second just to point out it, it doesn't look that easy, but I mean he, both of these guys do a, a good job creating such a wide funnel for that kill squad. And I notice a lot of people are asking they they have issues creating this kill squad and this funnel. 
Uh, but I mean, they just opened this thing wide open, so there was no possible chance of. One thing you can point out like is again, like I was saying in the TH10 attacks, he has counted the distance from that 12 o'clock Archer Tower to that Elixir storage, and he knows three minions are going to take that out. Yeah. Right? Like that exit, for example, and and that's with all the buildings. When you're creating your funnel, you you check and you see what where yeah. can you drop what to take out what you know like a wizard doesn't always work you need that you need to get those minions in there to help that makes a big difference in helping you create that funnel anyway so he's got that jump down the queen is about to get locked on great patience from the dropping of his king because his king's gonna go in there finish off the defensive king and then go lock right on the defensive queen rages it up queen goes down and he sends his hogs in so he's just gonna kind of go surgical he dropped the giant there too to tank a, those uh, three point defense which was great value all four hogs barely touched another two a few hogs just sprinkling in three at a time here he does only have one bomb taken care of at this point although i think there's another one behind that I th not a hundred percent but his hogs are still doing work two more heels in the bag and really only three more compartments of defenses yeah there's the one bomb. Yep. But they're just standing in heels. There's the other heel. <laughs> it's like, why can't my hog raids go like that, where I just have to <laughs> chain drop heels? And <laughs> I ask myself the same question. <laughs> I don't know. Logic beats killing it for Invicta. Great job, man. I'm going to fast forward this. Might have been a close one on time. I don't remember. Beautiful attack. I think, yeah, he crushed that one. Yeah, I think he crushed it. Just like Adam crushes 19 here. So Adam is also a very new new member to Invicta. He's our new top Town Hall 9. So let's go in and check his attack on 19. This was uh, this was actually one of my favorite attacks uh, out of the whole war here. Yeah, it was sexy. How, I don't know how he managed this, but 30 hogs... Uh, no, no heals. No heals. It just destroyed this base. I mean, this was just a phenomenal job. Here. So he's going to use the earthquake to open up pretty much everything right to the other side of the base here. Uh, he brought wall breakers that he didn't even need because the earthquake was so good it even took out, it opened that first compartment for him anyways. But sends in his royals again. Great patience. All these guys that were showing, that that's one thing um, anyone was watching patience with your king you got to be careful because you can't be over patient there's got to be breadcrumbs in there but the more patient you are generally the more successful you're going to be so yeah starts his hogs in kind of just sprinkling all around the base crushing it in because he knows he knows his golems are up there tanking that core for him so he's really just got to take the outer defenses down and he's looking great now watch his double giant bomb i don't know how, <laughs> so i see it now a little more and now that i've seen this replay a couple times yeah he had his biggest group was on the bottom and never got touched by the very top double giant bomb. So the majority of the hogs only took damage from the one bomb. Right, right. So well, that's I what, mean, it, it, that played out perfectly for him, though. He couldn't yeah. ask for a, a better passing on that one. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Adam, welcome to Invicta, man. Your attacks like this are much appreciated dude great one moving on <clears throat> i think we got uh, number 26 next dirty italian doing work again going in so i'm pretty sure he brought one of the only successful lalos of the war but he comes in shattered here from the two o'clock Starts to create his funnel again, minion on the outside because he knows he's he's just got that the free free percentage on that gold mine. Gets the heroes down in the core. He actually has a wall breaker fail right here. It's kind of funny, not for DW, but for us to watch. <laughs> <laughs> so he drops his king anyways because he's hoping the king's gonna work on that wall. He almost goes for a walk and then he's like, mm, actually I like that wall, and he turns around. <laughs> starts whacking on the wall the wall opens but unfortunately the golem doesn't route anyways because <laughs> it's wandered so far now 
But luckily, there's a Lava Hound in the CC, and that was the saving grace of this attack because his king just walks in, takes out this Tesla. He's going to take the jump now, ends up wandering away. And to be honest, I, he doesn't even get the defensive Archer Queen in this attack. Yeah, she's but he, not even touched by that kill squad. No, but he manages to take out such a good section of this base and get such good... Um, I, I don't know, just has such good spell placement with these rages, I guess, and and like I don't know. I don't know how he comes away with the three-star here. He just follows suit. That defensive queen is like, hmm, Lava Hounds? <laughs> I'm in. Starts unloading on him, and I don't know. He just pushes right through this base like it doesn't matter. It's the new strat, DI. Maybe you don't need to take out the defensive queen. <laughs> That's, that's a risky one there. <laughs> <laughs> but the way the compartments are set up and the way he just kind of saved, you know, two fingers, he's targeting. It's not like he's spamming anything by any means. Every single loon has a purpose at the, at the moment. Yeah. And the queen here getting stuck on the wall and then stepping up on that air defense like Huge. a second before those loons get into raid into range, Huge. that was the raid. That was so, that was it right there. So I mean, because he must have been close on time for this one. There's no way he wasn't, because there's still yeah, a lot. Have, I'm gonna fast forward this now since it's clean up, but yeah, I'd have to guess he was coming down to like the last couple seconds on this one. Yeah, dirty, great attack though, man. Well done think we'll show one more yeah one more pants attack on 29 let's check it <clears throat> i like this one because uh his little drag swap he does it just kind of works so perfectly so he there goes is in a purpose for the drag still <laughs> there really is there's multiple purposes but that's something you got to think about guys when you're building your bases i was thinking about this earlier is just understanding when your queen's going to engage the dragons that potentially are coming for a drag swap and all you got to do is fill in a little bit of space in between that to ensure that that doesn't happen um i'm not right. necessarily going to go into any other details than that but it's something guys that you really got to think about when you're making your bases uh, so he's in with uh, just a shattered entry from the 2 o'clock. Drops his royals. He's looking to take out... I don't know how he's going to get to this arch. Oh, the drag swap. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> so he's really just looking to crush the middle of this base where the bombs probably are. Because if you look, there's not a lot of bomb spots on this base that are realistic. Right. So there's one in the core. Surprise, surprise. That Tesla popped. I actually thought there would be one between there. Um, but I'm pretty sure the hogs don't manage to trip them at all because he's got a heal down, still has two more heals in the bag, and there's not a lot of this base. It's half destroyed. The queen's still full health up there doing work. Dragon still just ripping around. These hogs should get to this last air defense, and here comes the last heal. Those single bombs didn't pay off because he's standing. They're all standing in heals the whole time. There is one. No, nope, all the bombs are triggered now. So one more heals. Oh, he's got the swag heal there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Swag he heal. He doesn't drop this one though. No, he holds it. He saves his resources like a champ. He's like, you know what? You're not even worth my whatever <laughs> twenty-seven thousand elixir. But it's clean up. Great job, pants. Great attack. Very well done, though. One more army camp. See you later. So many hogs left, too. Like, so many. Okay. It's nice when you can get the drag swap off clean like that because then for pretty much 40 space, you've eliminated the Archer Queen and you can use your kill squad specifically just to defuse bombs. It doesn't matter. You don't have to get to the Queen like that, right? So right. it's just that two-pronged yeah, attack. He also had them in there doing some cleanup duty on those side trash buildings too. Yeah, no, he yeah, great attack all they around. Did that a lot. So I mean, it was a tough one for Invicta. Learning lessons all around. Um, but you think you know we we get four more stars and cleaning up the nines, 
and do it with our nine so our tens are freed up to get some three star shots and and we're in business so that's what we're working towards and um i can tell you dws and the other war generals are are on it for these arranged matches we're uh we're only going up from here so uh until next time i guess uh dws thanks for coming out buddy all right bro. thanks for having me all right guys i'm glad to bring in this recap until later i'm out